Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel, Rex. Yeah. This is a gift from magnificent bastard Ryan Sugden. You sure on the name? Yeah. You want to double check? No. Because I'm looking right at it. No. See, you checked. Ryan Sugden, you magnificent bastard. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> Who's the one who normally <laughs> says? <laughs> Who's the one who normally says the name on this channel? Who's the one? No, you tell me the name. You tell me the name, and I repeat. I repeat what you tell me. <laughs> this is, I'm actually kind of excited to try this. This is a German whiskey. Yeah? So, <laughs> did you? Oh, it was the plastic yeah, seal. Yeah, there's a seal. It cracked. I couldn't see it. Um, okay, so this is a family mm -hmm. that's got like, that back into the 1800s generations of making things on this farm mm -hmm. in the Black Forest in Germany. And they, in more recent family history, got into distillation. Yeah. And this is three-year-old. Woo, that is funky. Mm, yeah. That is a whiskey. Got must. Refined barley instead of malted barley. So look at what's the difference? Because there's I a, don't, there's a musty character to this barley that is a different angle than what I typically get from. I don't know what malted, refined barley is. Refined barley. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. This is f like a fruit explosion. Oh, wow. Even the back is all... It's in German, yeah. Yeah. It doesn't... yeah. Other language-y. Mm -hmm. Three years in American oak and used American oak. They kind of want to use my Also app. two years in sherry and port wine barrels. Can I use my app? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Your translation app? Yeah. Give it a shot. Yeah. It's probably just going to say history of craft and attention to the arts and hand small batch and but in German. I believe you are very right. Let's do German from Hermany to English. Here we go. And then, wait, this is not the photo one. This is the talk one where you- Oh you, yeah, you must standing in front one. of a German. Well, now I'm over it. That's all it took. All right, so overly ripe fruit. The fruit that's just a little bit too ripened. It's not rotten, but you can tell that's got some mushiness in there. Yeah, they made brandies, fruit brandies and things like this. Okay. And they've sort of, I think they came to whiskey through the door of brandy. Yeah, yeah. And they've really embraced weird yeast strains and yeah. and this like really fruit mm -hmm. forward dominant sweet candied characteristic malt. Yep. Evidently it won best whiskey in Germany. Okay. What's interesting to me about this is how like it is barley, but yeah. it's a weird angle on barley and the fruitiness that accompanies this barley isn't the typical kind of fruitiness. Again, it's the overly ripe fruits. Yeah, you get fruitiness very, very often, but you take those fruity, those fruity elements and make them a little bit past their prime. That's how you get like the musty, funky, sweet, natural fruit flavors. This is grape. The barley character. Banana. And the more you go back to it, the more Peaches. I'm acclimating to that mustiness. Mm -hmm. Now that's pulled back that really heavy curtain of mustiness. Now there's like lighter flavors in there. That's interesting, man. It's not hay. The mustiness isn't like hay or even mulch. It's just dusty. Like. Yeah. Yeah. That's trippy. Ooh. Wow. That, that is, is very sweet. It's lighter and sweeter on the taste. I don't get any of the dark, musty wood notes at yeah. all. This is... It's almost like a different whiskey. This is candy. This is hard candy. Straight up hard candy. So it's definitely sweeter than the nose. And the fruity flavors aren't nearly as overripe as the nose would lead you to believe. Mm -hmm. They are still densely sweet. Some sugar sprinkled all over that. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Okay, so now it's just like, wow. a it really is like a weird mixture of fruits condensed into a hard candy yeah. with a slightly dry edge around it that keeps it from being pure sugar. Yeah. Like it's definitely not brandy or rum or something, right? Or like candy, you know, I guess. You know, what's, you know what's striking me about the texture of this? Mm. The texture is 
Not the flavor. Gosh, this is going to sound really hard to understand. The flavor isn't flat. The texture right. is flat, but the feeling it leaves on your tongue after it's gone is like this this fizzy effervescence. Yeah, I licked my lips and they were sweet. Mm. Like the remainder of the whiskey was sweet. Mm -hmm. Like sugar. On mm. It you know what it reminds me of a flavored cigar wrapper. Okay. When you get a sweet, a yeah. flavored cigar and you taste sweetness, but you're smoking, so yeah. you also get that tobacco bitterness. We have uh, you. We have gas 180. Really like the red breast I got yesterday. Taste of all butter shortbread. Mm, Just yeah. wondering which other Irish whiskeys have that note. Fortunately, it's a fairly common note in Irish whiskey. With pot still. Yeah. With pot still. So go for other pot still Irish whiskeys. Go uh, John Powers John's line. Yes, that's probably the that's probably the, the first one you want to try. Specifically the John's Lane. Yeah. Yeah. The Tullamore Pot Still Tullamores. Mm-hmm. Um, the Rider's Tears Pot Still does that. Yeah. The Irishman Pot Still, which is the same people, also does that. Um, 12 spot does that, although green spot does is more citrus yeah. than that. Um, Here's some good options. All the method and madness do that at some level. Well, they're dominated often by something else, but it's always in there. Right. Ikiru Yamamoto said it looks like there was a riot on the featured wall. Yeah. Look, man. What? I think what happened? I think we need to have an employee, uh, training session, team meeting, about the sanctity of the featured wall, of the unfinished, yeah, qu unfinished. Quintessential, totally unfinished. quintessential whiskey wall. Yeah. I think we're through about half of them. Yeah, uh, we're not even through half. We're through like a third. There's like a, But they still keep... There's like a YouTube plaque up there now. Yeah. Emma does her thing. Who the, knows? Now there's missing bottles. Yeah. <laughs> Iron Roots up there. Right. I know, guess. We should just... You know what? This is what we do. What? Fire everybody. On the whole campus? Yes. Even people who don't work for us? Yes. Okay. And then, whatever they were getting paid, we pay ourselves that money. And then I think we could probably phone in like two or three months before it really falls apart. But we just sock that away into savings? It's a windfall. And just walk away. It's a windfall, yeah. Yeah. I don't think it's as much money as you think it is. We don't pay well. <laughs> <laughs> it's not true at all. <laughs> um, so I I am of mixed feelings about this because yeah. I went back after I acclimated to like the must and then there's like yeah. the fruitiness. And I went back and man, there's something that is strange and I don't necessarily mean that in a bad way. It's just I'm still trying to figure it out kind of way. It must be the refined instead of malted. Mm -hmm. But to me, the nose is super interesting, but that palate is so candy sweet, I can't go, I can't keep, I don't like But again, back. like beneath that candy sweetness, there is this character of, it's not bitter, mm -mm. it's not sour, it's not really tangy, it's some, it's not just sweet either, it's not sweet. Yeah. It's like, it's gotta be the refined barley. I'm curious as to what refined barley is. It's lingering too. Like it sticks behind. It's oily. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So this one best whatever blah blah bloop. Supposedly it won best in Germany. And the Hermini from Meiningers International Spirits Award. Nailed that pronunciation. 2019 gold. Okay. I I, I uh, guess they're into like off the beaten path kind of whiskeys because yeah. that's interesting. That's unique. It's an it's a exploration whiskey to be sure. Uh, also, I've got a thought for Ryan. Who do? Who so who, here's the thing, uh, Ryan Sugden. He sent a bunch of other whiskey for like four other whiskeys yeah. that we already reviewed, mm -hmm. and they're good ones. Like oh. two Westlands. Ooh. Ooh. A cut and yeah, right. Like we're not gonna. I mean, recently, like yeah. we reviewed them this year. Yeah, yeah. Four of the five that he sent. Yes. And so we're not, we're going to benevolent bastard you on those, Sugden. Right. But here's what I'm also going to offer. Email me. I'll mail them back to you. <laughs> because that's, these are good whiskeys. Right. These are not just like bottom shelf Peter Golden bullshit. 
This is Westland, like a rare cask released from Lucky Brewing. Wow, wow, wow. Cask 54, oh, single cask release, right, Westland. Right. right, which we actually well, hold, have. Hold on. Does he get benevolented or does he get the whiskey back? Because you can't. You can't do both? No, are you freaking kidding me? I know. You I know. can't bestow benevolence of bastardom. I think we wait. On an MB and be like, no, I want it back. Fuck you, you want it back. We either yell at you and do some horse with the animation. Did you? Or. Fuck <laughs> you, you want it back. That's where we're going with it now. <laughs> Actually, that would be hilarious yeah. if people sent us bottles. Yeah. Like you guys review it, and then you know, send it send back. back. <laughs> <laughs> we have to spend money. We actually start losing money because we have to pay for all this shipping. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Ryan, send me an email. Let me know. Yes. In the meantime, look at me. We'll look decide at, look, whether look at me with your later. eyes. <laughs> look at look at me with your eyes. You know the right thing to do. <laughs> And that is send them back to you, and then you send them to me. Instead of me, yeah. And I change your life. <laughs> it's not fit for YouTube, but. Mm -hmm. You said Westlands? Mm hmm. Two Westlands. Change your among life. Among others. Change your life. <laughs> Why do you have a low price? <laughs> <laughs> but you said they're super fancy. You are affordable. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, is one of my many qualities. Yeah. Uh, here's dividing, stealing, and drinking. That's weird, but interesting. So maybe we're trying. Eh, if you fight, may fight for a friend. Steal, may you steal your liver's heart. And if you drink, may, may you, you drink, drink with us. us.